Alright, we're right rocking whenever you are. Yeah, we like when you bring guns. Is she getting out of the way you didn't watch video? You know, that's the second time I've talked about that today. <coughs> well, no, that's what I told him. I said, no matter what my, my brother, no matter what I do stupid wise, Smokey always got me topped on that. He shot himself. Oh, he did? Yeah, he blew, he blew a 25 shell to his, to his knuckle right here. We were out, we were out shooting, and uh, me and another guy were shooting ARs, and he had this little pistol in him. Czechoslovakia and, Czech, and walked away from us and she shoot it and it jammed and he was cocking it like this and it got it jammed he was sitting there going like this and the slide slid his hand went down there and shot him right down through the thing. Oh my god. And he almost immediately went into shock. Well I guess so. And he was standing there and his fingers hanging and hanging dangling down he said I don't think I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I got was one web gear, right? I got a web gear, right? So I got this big military chest compression wrap, you know? So I got his hand all wrapped up like this, you know? The only thing I had to wrap his hand up, we are driving, starting to drive in, and I said, well, you know, I ended the shooting for today, we're out of here. And uh, I made the mistake of letting him drive. And he's going down the road, and you can see him kind of phasing in and yeah, down. Yeah, <laughs> Mookie, I think you ought to pull over now. <laughs> Let me drive. <laughs> what? Yeah, he did Good. that, and my oldest brother drove off with the gas pump still attached in his gas tank and ripped it off from the gas pump in Ohio. Oh, my so God. Between two of them, I can do it. I got a pretty good stupid range I can go to for any of them. <laughs> Same thing about you, huh? That just gives a shit. No matter how safe you are, accidents happen. Oh, yeah. You know, I know. Smokey, I don't mind him being around me with a loaded gun, but, <laughs> but his hand wasn't on the trigger. It was a faulty, faulty yep. safety or something. Yeah. Yeah, he's pulling the slide. He racked, and he actually fired when he racked it. So wow. So small guns, small yeah. handguns are dangerous. Yeah, handguns are dangerous in general, but small handguns are extremely dangerous, you know? You gotta watch how you handle them. Yeah, because cause your hand... <coughs> oh, like I said, his, his hand slipped down in front of the barrel when that slide went forward. And, <laughs> oh man! Any any time, you know, it's just common sense. You want to be off the working end of it, you know. Okay, uh, we're gonna have a little class here on weaponry. Um, basically, there's two kinds of weapon defenses and defenses, and uh, you want your survival weapons your offensive weapons, your long range weapons, um, short short range weapons, and uh, your handgun. Now every, every usually everybody's got some kind of weapon and it's usually up to how much ammo can you carry. You know, if you if you have to bug out and you gotta carry ammo that's why the 223s are so popular because the ammo is fairly light. That's why the military ammo is. I prefer something that's a, a little bigger, but it's all in preference. A lot of guys grew up with 3030s. 3030s are fine weapons. There's going to be a lot of that ammunition around if everything breaks, society breaks down. That's the ammunition you're going to find. You're going to find 3030, you're going to find the 5.56 military ammunition, you're going to find shotgun shit. Shotgun. If you only have one choice of a gun to go to, go for the shotgun. And I would I would go with the Remington 870 personally because there's 10, there's 10 million of them made. And that's just in the Remington. And then there's two clones made by H&R and Marinko that are exact copies of it. All the parts fit, and there's no stats on how many millions of them are. And you can get one of the H and R's for under 200 bucks. They're on sale all the time. At and they're on the break. Dunham for 179 dollars. You know, you can't beat 
Guy. Now, is that a sister company in Remington, or is that what they No, it's not a sister. They it's just, just happen to get their hands on well, the design, or what? Patents only go for so long now. And once yeah. they get that patent date, it's, it's, open, it's an open season. Anybody can, anybody can use the patent. Uh, so, and the 870's been around for a while. Yeah. And they have been around a while. And, and there's a reason they've been around a while. Well, no, they're good. Man, we use them at, at the jail because, because of that. It's almost impossible not to get... It was like an AK. The, you, you have to almost work to get them not to work. You'd almost have to do something intentionally to get it not to work. And I'm sure the Mossberg 500, it's probably a, a comparable good gun. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of parts on that. Like the springs, the springs will interact. You know, there's there's a lot of parts that can be interact. Yeah. And then there's ammo. There's going to be a, a lot of 12 gauge ammo. That's what you're mostly going to find. Every farmer in mm -hmm. Mineral County has a 12 gauge, you know? yeah. And it's it's not real expensive. It's not like rifle ammunition where you get 50 bucks in a box of rifle ammunition. I'm over, I'm over the top of this thing. This is way over the top. <laughs> um, op optics. There again. Everybody likes these high-speed deer rifles where you can reach out 400 yards and stuff. You don't really need that. Most of the time, you're going to be within 200 yards or something you have to get, you know? And there again, a slug in a shotgun a work, you know? You might have to have a little practice with it, but you can hit something at 200 yards with a shotgun. Um, shotgun ammo. There's little tricks to it, like you can take a... A bird shot, like or number four seven. bird shot, or number two bird shot, and cut what they call cutting around. You can cut all the way around it in just about a quarter inch past the first cut, one lower than the other, one higher than the other, and that'll act as a slug. It'll eject the whole front of the the BBs and the wadding out as a slug. You can also, uh... We used to call them torpedoes, but we call them... Yeah. I've never, seen, I've never seen that thing. When you... It's we called cutting around, as it's called. We used to shoot probably trees probably that big around, and when the plastic casing stopped, the BBs kept going. And they yeah, the map, way out it's through, still going. Through the back of that tree, about five, six inches around. You can also take wax. Don't take a lick can on top of it in there. You take <laughs> wet wax, and you can pour it into a bird shot round, and it glues all of them together and it acts like a slug. And because you've got even more mass going. Uh, oh no. But with the torpedoes, the only thing we ever use them in the I know I, I imagine they wouldn't cycle in a pump or an automatic or a semi-automatic. I mean. What? I didn't know that. We always used to just cut them and then stick them in the old single shot. And well, as long as you don't twist them and keep them right together, they're, they're fine. They'll, they'll function right through it. Huh. Um, I used to always just keep an extra slug in my hand, you know, because I'm usually off rabbit up and it's deer. <laughs> Edit that part, too. <laughs> Cut. Edit that. <coughs> Edit that. <laughs> That's well, for know, coyote protection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, in West Virginia's deer season before Maryland, so the deer coming across the river, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too tempting. <laughs> that's where the rabbits... You guys had about five minutes of this hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's where rabbits and horns came from. <laughs> your, your name's Stu, right? Stu. <laughs> that's right, that's Stu there. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I just can't emphasize enough on the shotgun. The shotgun is just the ultimate weapon. If he... A lot of people don't have a lot of money. The guns are expensive. And if you've got to buy one gun, buy a shotgun. Yeah, and pro a 870 pump. Yeah. Like I said, the 500 Mossberg, there's a bunch of them out there, too. And a lot of people would kind of like 870, 500 is probably their most popular brand. But the Mossberg, the only thing I don't like, it, they only use one, uh, I think it's only got one rod on the the pump 
Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of slop in it. A lot of slop in it, yeah. That's the reason I don't like it. The Remington has two slides, on each side, one on each side of the pump. Rem Remington has a lot more parts to it. There, you, can get all, you can even get a, a bayonet attachment for the end, though. You know, I mean, Winchester, it, it also works on Winchester. A lot of the Remington parts are swappable to others. And they don't tell you that, but when you, you know, you go there to the store to get a scope mount or something, you'll notice, wow, that Remington won't fit on that, you know? Wow, you know, always go to the Remington first to see if it fits on it, because a lot of them are copies of them. Now, this, this right here, <coughs> this thing here is overkill, it's 1100. And it's, oh yeah. This is a this is a burst match. This will take three and a half inch, three inch, or just standard twelve gauge. And uh, you don't really have to have optics, but I got an EOTech on this one. But one thing worries me about any of the the, the, the hot release. I love the red dot stuff. You're not going to find it. After a while, battery, you're not going to Yeah, you're going to have a hard time finding the battery. Okay, this, that's, that's another yeah, reason this one here. Yeah, and it takes in little round watch batteries, but you're not going to find it. This is, this is a 512. It costs a little bit more, but it uses standard AA batteries. Yeah, now something like that. Yeah. Now, that, that's a, a lot of reason why I use that one. Yeah, because you, can, you can charge them with solar lights or solar charger. Yeah, yeah you can charge them up. It's good for that. But I, I got a eight round tube on it, and so this this thing will hold nine and ten. It'll hold ten regular twelve gauge, and it'll hold nine three and a half. Three and a half. So you're gonna have to leave that side on. That is nice. They're very yeah, nice. Pretty vicious. And it, another thing, if this gives you a lot more control. I know you want one of these for you. I, got, I put one on my AR. You need that for the groundhog. Squeeze those two together. You take all the, the shock out of yeah. it. Out of it and, and it really makes a lot of difference. Especially when you're just throwing three inches out. What's the, what's the capacity on that too? Acorns. Cool. Apparently. <laughs> um, uh, one in the chamber and uh, the regular 12 gauge. You, want all well, you gotta and, give it back yeah, to and uh, three and a half, and it'll go, it'll go nine. <laughs> it'll go nine in the three and a half. Now this is a semi? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And what's but the name, what's the brand name? Remington. 1100. And it's the 1100, okay. Didn't they make an 1187 too? That's, the, that's that really, the that's, the, that's the 1187. That's the 1187 version now. How are you putting the scoop on? There's two buttons there. Good point. Yeah, keep pretty smoky. Keep pressing buttons, one of them switches it from red to green, and the other one, keep pressing buttons, you'll get something there. <laughs> Was the, uh, did they make, they made 1100 and 1187? Yeah, 1100, 1187. You're right, I'll stay with him. And then, uh, Versa Mac. The 1187, did, was it the one with the... Is it lit up? On it originally? Oh, yeah. Um, you get it lit up, and I'll show you the shit through it. And this oh, one's like, one. this it one's, uh, yeah, green inner uh, park or red. So we have it up there. It's, See, that's why it's called a special purpose. The model is actually called a special purpose. My A7 yeah, is it? actually it's like oh, I'm just all not black, black. black on it. Okay. But it came with the 26 inch, so I'd like to get like an 18 inch. Oh, yeah, I well, see it torn. Yeah. I like to be careful. See, that's the 26 with the pull check. And that, that'll reach out. That'll reach out to you. Know, Plus, it, um, plus with birdshot, it's like a squat automatic weapon. I mean, I, I, I can lay down a lot of firepower with that thing. Real fast. Work. And not only that, a lot of people think, well, with birdshot, that ain't nothing. I'll tell you what, you stand from here about that blanket away and shoot, shoot plywood with birdshot. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'll tear a hole in you. <clears throat> what, uh, what, well, what? In, in a close, when you're in your house, you want your first round to be burn shot because usually you're you're snuck up on, you're caught off guard. You don't want it to get through the wall and kill the kids in the other room. You want you want to reduce the firing. 
what's the uh, what's the price on one of those? That right there? Um about eight hundred dollars for the rifle and five hundred for the two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working well. My new paycheck came with you. Well, like I said, hey, my son got a new job, by the way. So Congratulations, Jake. Yeah, he will be starting down in Hagerstown for prison the 23rd. Cool. Right. Awesome. Like, you can get that, the red dot you're using on your mm -hmm. shotgun, it's what, $50, $70? Mm -hmm. And then uh, an 870 or an 870 clone for $200. Bucks. I want one of So, man, they want one to well, yeah. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same thing, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of bells and whistles and fill them out a little bit. I want one of those. But that's the same way. Same way with a pump action. A lot of times, you the gun's only as good as the guy using it. I can use shotgun. As fast as you can wrap oh, yeah. the wall, and yeah. pull the trigger back. And there's another reason I don't like the Winchester because you gotta you gotta physically release. reach up and hit that release to get that slide to come back. Up. No kidding. I got every I, round. I have for every round. I reach your finger up and hit that release. Oh, that suck. The, the 1200 and the 1300 the same one. I didn't know that. They're nice shotguns. I really like the shotgun. Shoot, good. Great skeet gun. It's light. You gotta well balanced. Like you that gotta that reach time. up there and hit that button every time. Uh, you say that'll hold ten rounds, one in the chamber? Yeah. Two nine in the tube and... Uh, Regular. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. How about three inch? It'll hold nine three inch. One in the chamber. And eight three and a half inch. I've never shot three and a half. Yeah, I've shot yeah, three inch and two and a half. I don't see much use for the three and a half. I, the three inch mags are about the toughest I want to get. Yeah, I've shot three inch and, and two and three quarter, of course, but I've never shot well, three inch. Well, that thing will make you walk you back. back. Without that, that fun grip on there. It'll walk you back. Yeah, it'll walk you back. When I first, when I first got it, I had it shipped from Germany. When I came back from Germany, I had I bought it at a PX in Germany and had it shipped back. Well, they had put it together wrong and the seal was lost out. So I was out with uh, Doug Macy, Macy's Realty looking over this piece of land and I tucked the shotgun out to you know, shoot it, just to shoot it off. So I put five rounds in it. I went on and they just kept driving and they drove me down to the ground and I was like, oh! <laughs> it went auto on It went auto on me and then, <laughs> So, there again, everybody wants a machine gun. You can't carry enough ammunition for a machine gun. Yeah. And so you might as well... You, you probably that's to, probably your first two may, may hit something the other or just wasting Yeah, you're wasting your round. Yeah. And uh, the, the AR platform's great. I mean, what, the, what they're going to end up doing is because they can make them with these the lower receivers with these printers now, 3D, 3D printers, printers yeah. they're going to end up making ammunition. And they've already did that in some areas, but what's going to end up is they're going to regulate ammunition. They're going to have no choice in that. So we got a fire now, boys. Hey guys, uh, there's a special on uh, Netflix called Princess or something like that. It's about these 3D printers. Has anybody seen one of these things oh. in action? I've, I've seen the uh, incredible. I mean, well, you the guy was making an entire lower <laughs> receiver. He made an entire handgun out of a printer. Was that the one they called the Liberator or yeah. something? I mean, it's an odd looking And then gun. the government quickly yeah. swooped in and yeah, made laws against it. <laughs> but he made, a, he made a gun off of a printer in his home. And what it does is it uses a composite and it's got a, a, a reservoir there, and it actually builds a 3D uh, usable thing. Like if you can put a, a bust of Washington and scan it in the computer, it will print, it will make a plastic bust of Washington identical to what's there. They are saving a child's life. Um, they have a very rare disease, and it's a valve mm -hmm. in the lungs. Yes. And they went in and actually used medical grade yes and created the valve specifically for that child mm -hmm. wow. and put it surgically implanted yeah. it. It took them four days. They went basic, this has never been done before. Mm -hmm. They've never done anything like it. And they basically went to the FDA and they said, um, the kid's gonna die in like a week. Mm -hmm. Let us do this or the kid dies. And the FDA said, give it a shot. 
and they went ahead and gave it a shot and last report the kid was doing fine wow, and that was that's cool. being able to take an x-ray of their actual windpipe right. and then creating that piece that was faulty and Crazy. surgically implanted right. well, well you put stents in our you get a 10 year lifespan out of it so the kid's got to have surgery right, to make it yeah 10 years better be in bed lower receiver they're making them yeah People are able to make them in their in their back in their at their houses. Yeah, well, in California, they were selling them, and now they they stopped that. But you can't make them for resale. If you make one, you can make it for your personal use. You can't but sell. You can't resell. First thing they made was clips, the magazine. Once and, and, and they went on the magazines. They, they keep, and you know that's the thing, and that's how things take off. Is is once you start putting in in the hands of people like us. We're going to figure out how to make, how to make it right. The experts never dreamed that they could make it. You know? yeah. And that's what the guy said. He said, get it out there to the public. They'll find a million ways to use it more than when anybody sitting in our shops could mm -hmm. come up yeah. with it. You know? But, uh, I mean, they're still pretty pricey. I think the lowest one that I spent on that show was over two grand. You know, and it was just a box maybe that big. But, uh, but the longer, longer that technology stays around, you know, is it going to be... Ten years from now, it's like a regular printer. Well, like you said, they, they're talking <laughs> yeah. about things like, like um, free manufactured homes, like machines big enough to right basically down. do an entire free manufactured That's home crazy. in one end and out the other end wow. and be you know done. That's crazy. So, yeah. Well, and that too, if you had one of them, if it was using a regular plastic or some type of polymer, I guess you could take that if you needed it to be metal. You can make a plastic rendering, put it in you know, plaster, melt it out, and then you would have your mold for yeah. to cool your metal. In. There's how many plans on the internet for building these printers, and it's like six hundred, eight hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, and you can build them in. Yeah. I don't know where, like, like I said, they didn't get into the like how the they got they they showed you the machines working and stuff, but they didn't really get into the technical side of the machine to show what material how it fed into the injectors and stuff they didn't get into all that it was more about this small company trying to develop it was called um buildbot i think was the name of it build build a bot and how they ended up selling out to this major corporation and industrial now they have some industrial machines that are like eight by eight that are making stuff but you know yeah, you figure a lot of that probably technology is probably through NASA. I mean, if you're out there on a spaceship and you need to make a part, mm -hmm. <laughs> make it right there. Make it right here because well, you ain't going back to get it. Yep. That, that's nothing. This is the latest <laughs> thing. That's what they're doing up there. They're doing the 3D printer thing. So, they can so make they're making parts, parts and stuff. Already up there. They're planning to do this because we're going to Mars, buddy. We're going to Mars. Let's keep saying it. Hey, the the uh, Indians just going to probe to Mars. Well, the Indians have Huh? Dots or feathers? Dots. Dots or feathers? Um, okay. Then we got 22. AR-15 again. You can get conversion kits for it. Yeah, they make it an AR-15. Limited to one firearm. Yeah, that's true. It would. They make a. Is that different than a barrel, or you? No, same barrel. I've actually seen. You can take your lower and put a crossbow upper on your AR. Oh, you can yeah. you can get a BMG for your AR. Yeah, well, I've seen and it. and you can get it change it to fifty cal just by your upper receiver. That but with the twenty two, which is just slide into the chamber. It's a different bolt carrier group. Uh, the bolt carrier group's different, and. Your magazine's different. I can do Bar Barrel's the same. The, the back end of the cartridge is on the bolt itself. So it shows your 22 in, and then it rejects it up on the front. But it I don't know if you got anybody noticed in the tape that Field and Stream opened a brand new store up in Altoona. It's like a super mega like store. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah, they were advertising 1,600 rounds of 22 for 68 bucks. Oh my as God. much as we wanted, they said. They said they'd have, you know, a bricks, bricks for 500 for $28 or something like that. So, uh... When was this? Huh? When was this sale good? Last week. 
Yeah. This might be sold out by now. Uh, yeah. Another thing. Tongue, you can make all kinds of different ammunition for shots. Um, you can use um, magnesium loops, fire starters, and make what they call dragon, dragon. dragon's breath, yeah. which is really good for lightning. Is that, is that just ignite off of the, <laughs> the, 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 the shot? The powder, powder will ignite it. Yeah, they say that um, thing will shoot like a, a 70 foot flame out of your barrel. I'd love to try <laughs> one out of my old thing. We do to shred up one of the magnesium. Well, you yeah. can buy what they call dragon rounds. They're a little expensive, but I'd like to try one at the like bigger. 4th of July. The oh, yeah. The chunks of magnesium, the better. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you went about number nine buckshot, you know. The cops are scared to death of those. If the drug dealers ever catch you one of them dragon rounds, you imagine breaching a door and, and meeting a wall of flame coming at you? Because <laughs> no, that, that, or another thing, um,